Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. Some fireworks to open the Independence Weekend edition of Mead Week. Lots to cover this week, including a portion of Reese Road set for long-term closure, images from this week's Weight of the Fallen ceremony, plus our regular look at what's going on at the Transition Assistance Office. These stories and more, but first at this week's Town Hall, Fort Meade Garrison Commander Colonel Chris Nyland began with an overview of the Garrison's operating status in light of the elimination of many COVID restrictions outside the fence line. Right now, we have met all the conditions um, for our senior leaders to consider moving to HPCon Alpha here on the post. So two things about that. Uh, first of all, uh, no decision has been made yet. However, I think it is very likely uh, in the next two weeks that we'll move to HBCon Alpha. Right now, the decisions with some of the very senior leaders. Second point about that is just a reminder, while HPCon Alpha will see um, the release of some of the restrictions and some of the measures we have in place to prevent community spread, it is not normal. HPCon Zero is normal. The remainder of the town hall focused mainly on traffic safety and a related subject, road and street infrastructure. The colonel was joined by the director of emergency services, Lieutenant Colonel Jason Taylor. You can watch the entire town hall on our Facebook page. Just click on videos. Meanwhile, a portion of Reese Road was closed to traffic this week. The closure extends from Rose Street to Ernie Pyle Street. Impacts include no access to Reese Road from Ernie Pyle Street. In addition, Ernie Pyle Street between Mapes and Reese is limited to local traffic, those needing access to buildings along Ernie Pyle. Please observe any closure or detour signs. The closure is expected to last through 2022. Meanwhile, a tribute to the fallen was held on McLaughlin Parade Field June 25th. The ceremony was held in memory of Sergeant Audie Murphy. Murphy received every military combat award for valor available at the time, including the Medal of Honor during World War II at the age of 19. The Remembrance Ceremony was hosted by this year's Sergeant Audie Murphy Award recipients and Fort Meade's Chief Mess. The award recognizes top flight Army NCOs. Sergeant Major of the Army Michael Grinston joined the ceremony online. It's really important to honor the sacrifice and commitment of all those that have come before us and to include Sergeant Audie Murphy. And you, know, you look at the most decorated individual in the history of the Army, it's, it's impressive to hear all the awards and accolades that he received. And it's also great to see all the soldiers out there leading programs like this. Elsewhere, just about this time last year, the staff here at Fort Meade Public Affairs had to say goodbye to the Post newspaper and the Sound Off staff. Today, we're taking a moment to say farewell to two longtime public affairs professionals and staff members. Larry Whitley, who was drafted in 1971, eventually ended his active duty career as the chief enlisted soldier in Army Public Affairs. Mary Doyle has served our country for more than 30 years as an Army reservist and civilian. She's also a published author with more than a dozen books, including a series of mystery novels to her credit. During the latest episode of our podcast, Fort Meade Declassified, we asked them about the changes they've seen yeah. over the decades. You have both been tied to the Army for over 20 years. How has the Army evolved? Is it, is it better than when you first joined? It's got to be better. Yeah. <laughs> it's got to be better. No, I, I've, but, but I've, I've seen how the military, Department of Defense, the Army, uh, has been able to adapt to the, the new technologies that were out there. The possibility of women serving in combat roles yeah. and mm -hmm. I mean, there's just so many things that are different from when I first joined and, um, you know, can only, only hope that it will get even better. Right. There's so much more to this podcast. Both have great stories to tell about their service and changes at Fort Meade. You can listen to the entire discussion wherever you get your podcasts. Finally, this week, our regularly scheduled look at what's happening at the Transition Assistance Office. If you're catching the show before July 12th, you can still register for the next TAP Employment Workshop. The next Virtual Employers Day is on July 22nd from 8 to 4.30. There's also a VA job fair on the 22nd. It's being held virtually or in person. Hiring Our Heroes is offering a financial services industry virtual hiring fair on July 22nd as well. There's an employment workshop targeted at retirees July 26th through the 30th. Call or email the Fort Meade TAP Center for more information on any of these workshops and seminars. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Meade Public Affairs Office, have a great Independence Day weekend and a great Mead Week.